Right, firstly, I'd like to apologise to everyone who's been asking, uh, myself and Roach and a few others, about when's the next UK prepper meet? Is there going to be one this year? Um, I haven't personally replied to any of them. Um, I didn't want to say anything until anything was confirmed, OK? Um, it's nothing worse than saying, yes, there's going to be one, and then there isn't, you know, it's just not on, OK? So now I can confirm that there will be one this year, all right? Um, the website is being done as we speak, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a link under this video, but I do plan to go to Church Farm, where we've had them before, um, in a couple of weeks' time to do like a dry run, recce the area, to really find out where we're going to be putting like a family area, okay? Because it's very important. Um, I haven't really done any organising before, and I spoke to a few guys, um, like Rich Torn Apart, who kindly gave me this hoodie. He said, do a family enclosure away from you know people who want to make a lot of noise and stuff so the kids can get some sleep so we can look into that one of the reasons why i want to get there and to just to see whereabouts we can place that on site so there will be one and the dates are going to be um the 15th 16th and 17th of july that's going to be friday saturday and sunday night okay um so basically turn up any time you want on the friday and leave any time you want on the monday which would be the 18th okay um there's a few differences, okay, we've we've um, negotiated the price, it's going to be different, all right? It's not going to be £10 a night, plus £10 ever fire. We've stopped all of that, I just didn't like it, all right? It just seems over the top. Um, so it's going to be a one-off price for £24 for the whole three days and three nights. Um, kids, unfortunately, he wouldn't shift the price. I said kids should go free, but they're going to be £12 for the three nights. Um, so there's not much I can do about that, so I do apologise if you've got to be in kids, etc. Um, also, I said it was a bit much to um, expect people to buy firewood on the site. Um, this is going to be a new location on the farm itself, Lonely End Woods and Lonely End Field. It's a little bit smaller than the main one. Um, that's been stopped due to all sorts of reasons, okay, which we're not going to go into now. But it's going to be a new site and it really looks cool. The thing is, it's a young woodland, so we do have to be very careful how we use it, okay? So um, I spoke to the landowner, and he said, by all means, everyone bring their own firewoods, but do not use any wood from the wood. Even if it's dead standing or dead on the floor, don't use it. We're just going to keep it there um, for the environment to evolve, because it's a new woodland, okay? It's, it's not very old, so... Is not keen on people just burning up all of the dead dying wood because it all you know goes into the ground etc and helps the ecology system so that's fine but it did stress you know he doesn't want people to bring pallets because there's going to be nails left everywhere okay so by all means bring as much firewood as you think you're going to need whether you're camping on the field or in the woods that's fine it's not a problem and if you can't bring any say if you're traveling on the train by all means you, know, you can get some from the farm they've got some on sale there um, that's basically the, the differences um, for what happened last time. Um, that's pretty much it. As I say, what I'm going to do is, a couple of weeks' time, I'm actually going to go there and do a video of the place, show you guys a bit more in depth of the new site and what to expect. There will be a tap on site, there will be compost toilets on site. It's a lot nearer to the shops and all of the facilities, and it's a lot easier to get in park rather than driving down that horrible track and getting into that woods, all right? But, um, you know, do be wary. If it does get rainy and does get wet, you do have to, you know, really think of um, where you're going to park and how you're going to get your vehicle in and out, okay? So, anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I just want to put the information out there. There will be a prep meet this year, and I'm I'm sorry it's been so late in coming. You know, I do organise this all by myself. I don't get any help from anyone. Um, there is one guy who I've got to thank, um, Ben, from Firestone Bushcraft, who actually went down there to do an overnight recently just to see if it was suitable so it's down to him that this is happening right without him going there and checking it out you know i don't know when i would have had the time to get down there so there it is i hope to see you all there and look out for a video in a couple of weeks time when we actually look at the site be on location and find out a lot more of what's going to be going on so there it is guys thanks for watching stay funky